everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Master Mage playthrough. Today, my friends, we start off by upgrading the Panic Necklace to the Sweetheart Necklace. But in order to do that, we're going to need to fight Queen Bee until we get ourselves the Honeycomb Accessory. The good news is we have plenty of opportunities to do this thing. And in order to make this a little bit of an easier procedure, what I'm going to do this time is I am going to use the little queen beehive way down here. Or maybe even this one over here because this one hasn't had its lava broken yet. So actually there's going to be a free spawn down there, right? Another reason to head back to the jungle is because I'd quite like to get myself the nature's gift. If we could keep a bit of a sharp eye out for that bad boy. Oh yeah, things are going to be good. If we can get ourselves a mana flower nice and early on here. Oh man, are we going to be laughing. So then as we're making our way over to the jungle, I do of course want to start off by saying an in Enormous thank you for all of your insane support you guys have been showing this series so far. I truly appreciate it a ton. Of course, if you want to continue supporting this series and you want to continue seeing more, do be sure to hit that like rating beneath the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off, or you can head on over to Terraria.shop for a whopping 15% off your Terraria merch order. Alright. Hi, free queen bee spawn. And since we are now in a hive, it should wind up being way, way easier. Oh, come on. How is it possible that we weren't able to take her down in our own queen bee hive arena? Wow, that was awful. I'm not even going to try and defend that. That was just awful. See, it's only been, what, about a week since the last episode? And I feel like I've already completely forgotten how to play Terraria. Ugh. Oh, let's do that again, but with buffs this time. I mean, I'll be gold down if I'm not doing a way better job this time, my friend. Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay. If you can stop getting hit by her, that would be absolutely beautiful. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. And she's done. Okay, beautiful. Good stuff. Love to see it. We even got the master mode drop. What we're really looking for, though is something we didn't get there. Ah! Good thing I bought these ingredients with me, because it means I could just do this. Boom, boom. Next! Do love the demon scythe. It's not a weapon I use very often, I must admit. So, yeah. It's quite nice using weapons that I don't normally use. Come on, Queenie! And you're done. Okay, lovely. Right, now we're gonna get it, aren't we? No, we're not! <laughs> Honeycomb accessory is where now? And she's done again, and we still don't have the honeycomb. Okay, this is getting a little bit old now, Terraria. Come on now, I'm gonna get a buff potion for crying out loud. And gone again. And no honeycomb again. I hate this game's RNG. If I don't get the honeycomb soon, oh man, am I gonna be so annoyed. Okay, we still don't have it. How, I ask you, how is it possible? I'm going to wiki this right bleeding now. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold the phone, my friends. Hold the phone. The honeycomb accessory, get this, has a 33, 33% drop chance. That is one in three. That is a one third chance of getting it. And we haven't? How is that possible, man? Oh, I am beyond disgusted with this game right now. How is it possible we don't have the honeycomb right now? Panic stations! Oh my god, what is this game today? What is this game today? As if you give me a bloody blood moon in the middle of me trying to find the honeycomb! And that was the last one I could crap! Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> Why does this game forsake me? Dude, I can't tell you how much I hate random number generators. They are the worst thing on God's green earth. They suck. They suck beyond sucking. There should be duplicate protection, in my opinion, until you get at least one of every drop from any one boss. And then once you do have every drop from a specified boss or event, the duplicate protection ends, and then, yes, you can start getting duplicates. But up until then, no, 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 no. 
should never be a thing. You should be able to get stuff relatively easy, man. Oh, sorry. Super rant. Super rant. But you guys know how much I hate random number generators. I hate them beyond hating them. They need to be made extinct. Seriously. If there was ever one entity in this universe I want made extinct, it's random number generators. I hate them. For any of you guys interested as to the reasoning why I really, really want the sweetheart necklace, you can get an incredible amount of movement speed every time you get hit, right? But also, when you get hit, you release bees and you're doused in honey upon being hit. When you are doused in honey, you get a good amount of increased life regen. So that, in my opinion, would go quite well against folks like Skeletron, who are coming up fairly soon in this series, my friend. So, yeah. Sweetheart necklace. I can't tell you how much I want it. This game is just doing everything in its power to stop me getting it. But I tell you what, I am a determined, stubborn guy. I am going to get it, and I am not stopping this episode until I get it. My intention today was to only start off the episode by trying to get myself the Sweetheart Necklace. And then the plan was to maybe try and take on the next boss, which probably would have indeed been Skeletron. But yeah, this game is just doing everything in its power to slow me down. So yeah, you know, you can't blame me for the lack of progression in this series sometimes, my friends. Blame Terraria's RNG. It sucks. Oh, and if you're wondering why I seem to be on a bit of a short tether today, I only had 90 minutes sleep last night. Yeah. It's, it's not enough, and I need episodes like this to go smoothly, and I need tasks like the ones I've got today to go smoothly, and they just haven't, so yeah. Thanks for your assistance in making this a nice, easy day for me, Terraria. I mean, look at this. We've actually gotten ourselves, get this, a money trough. We've got a money trough before we got ourselves the honeycomb accessory, which is a 33% drop chance. This thing is so, so much rarer, it's ridiculous. Alrighty, more honey obtained, meaning we should be able to make quite a lot more abominations. Alright, lovely stuff. Let's get ourselves back to the arena. Let's get this thing going again. All right, there we are. Blocked off. Ain't no one getting in here now. And I'm not getting out until we have this task friggin' done. Please, dear lords. Ah, oh, there we are. Woo-wee! We finally got there, my friends. We are done and dusted. I'm never taking down Queen Bee in the series again. We just don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we got there finally, my friends. The sweetheart necklace releases bees, douses the user in honey, and increases movement speed when damaged. That, my friends, is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Perseverance pays off again. You'll love to see it. Yes, as much as we got the things we were looking for, I still stand by my rant. RNG is the worst element of this game by a country mile. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Let me know if you guys think that there's some other element of this game that's the worst thing about it. But in my opinion, yeah, random number generators relying on chance. I hate it. I hate anything that relies on luck. It's the same reason I hate Battle Royales as a genre. Because a lot of it requires you to get lucky at the start of a match trying to pick up a weapon and go on a bit of an early killing spree. So, yeah. Battle Royales, random number generators, relying on luck in general. It's not this guy's cup of tea. I'm sorry, but it just isn't. Since this is a top tier accessory, it can no longer be upgraded. I have no issues with spending money on getting a decent reforge. What the hell? <laughs> this game's gonna send me to an insane asylum, man! For God's sake. For God's sake.
fuck's sake! Seriously! RNG! If RNG was a physical entity in front of me right now, it would be getting so many punches in the face. Ah, <sighs> all right. On a little bit of a chiller note, what I have done between episodes is I've actually set up a giant potion ingredient farming area in that we've got three rows of daybloom and three rows of deathweed, since deathweed is actually a pretty darn useful thing to have. And then we've got two rows of shiverthorn, two of moonglow, two of fire blossom, two of water leaf, and two of blinky plant. So... Yeah, periodically I've been going ahead and trying to farm this stuff up and just trying to populate the entire area. It's a slow process, but we're getting there. Got plenty more fire blossom on the go here as well, which is lovely to see. And the chests that we've got going on here are pretty much just to store the seeds. The ultimate farming area continues to become ever more ultimate. <laughs> All right, next goal Mana flower and the accessory that I take off in favor of it is actually the horseshoe balloon We have a decent amount of flight time with the fledgling wings and the terrace bark boots combined The horseshoe balloon basically just adds another jump We already have full damage being negated by the fledgling wings here. So yeah the horseshoe balloon would be the thing that comes off. If we manage to find ourselves a mana flower in good time, that is. I mean, this game has really been trying my patience today so far, so, uh... Yeah! Don't know how this is gonna go. We just need to go hunting for a little blue flower on the floor here. Probably a good idea to actually take off the Guide to Peaceful Coexistence as well, or deactivate it at the very least, because then at least we can actually break the grass and various bits and bobs. So, yeah. Anyways, my friends, mana flower hunting. Let's do it. There it is. Found it. Got him. Okay, good. Good. That is the one element of this episode that's actually gone pretty smoothly, would you believe? <laughs> Never thought that was possible. So, just purchased a couple of these here lesser mana potions. We need only get ourselves some glowing mushrooms. In fact, we should be able to do it just right here, right? Yep, there we have it. Then we pop on over to the Tinker Table. And we should be able to do this thing. There it is. Oh, you'll love to see it. Okay, right. I just want to quickly remind myself what I can actually make this thing into real quick. Ah, yes. Okay, so we got ourselves the Arcane Flower. Not really likely to want to make that. The Mana Cloak. That's probably a bit more like it, actually. Causes stars to fall after taking damage. Ooh, I kind of like that. We've also got the Magnet Flower. Increases range for Mana Stars. But we don't have a Celestial Magnet because we haven't been lucky enough to find one in a chest on this world. So it's going to be the Mana Cloak eventually, eh? Anyway, there we are. 8% reduced Mana Cost. So this thing currently uses 10 Mana. And when we put this thing on, it uses 9. Okay, good oh. What about the Bee Gun? Uses 4 uses three. Okay, very good. So yeah, that is the one and only element of this episode that's gone smoothly so far. What should we do next? Hmm? We could try Skeletron? Just to kind of finish off the episode, perhaps? Although, I don't know, considering how the rest of the episode has gone, I don't have high hopes for it. But, here's the thing. If I go in without high hopes then I would be more pleasantly surprised if I actually do manage to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, man. It is going to be a squeeze trying to take down Skeletron in this night. I have to try and set up a little bit of a rudimentary arena as well. And guess what? I forgot to bring buff potions. Oh, that's a big fat yikes, isn't it? Campfire, star in bottle, bunch of dudes that need to be killed here real quick. And heart lantern goes down there. And basically, we just sort of see what happens here. Oh, boy. Don't know how this is going to go. Probably quite poor, if I'm being honest. But what we need to try and do, of course, is prioritize the hands. And I'm already kind of failing quite massively. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We've got crimson dudes trying to roll in on us. That's not cool at all, man. All right, come on now. Once we have the hands taken care of, taken down the main head, it shouldn't actually be overly difficult. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. There's a Sky Island up there. Just hope that Sky Island doesn't get in my way. All right. So, so far, so good. The hands are both about half-ish way down, which isn't too bad. Yeah, baby. All right. Come on, now. I think I could get my mana back just a little bit easier here. 
If I stay still, I can get it back kind of easy. You know what? I should kind of take it back. I think I do need little dudes to spawn in. So maybe if I try and focus on this guy. Oh, he didn't even drop a mana thing. Oh, man, you suck. You suck, dude. Come on now. There we are. Okay. Good-o. Little bit of health. Got our mana back. All is looking well. Get off me, you son of a gun! Oh, those hands are nearly done. The first one is indeed done. Now it's all about the little, uh, the little skull dudes. Oh, man. Oh, man. I have no mana whatsoever. Oh, no, dude! Oh, that's so bad, though! Oh, jeez. Oh, this is really, really terrible. Like, even... I can't... I literally can't stay still. Oh, no! Man, oh, man, is this going to be an endurance fight and a half, eh, my friends? Oh, those skulls, though, dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is going to be so bad. The, when it... When he does a spinny attack, that's when I can actually do a bit of damage and actually regen my mana just a little bit. I mean, look at that. I can sort of stay still for just a little while, get my mana back a little bit, kind of, and then be on our merry way. 8,000 health. We have about three minutes to do this thing. What do you guys think, eh? Python, the Lord of the Bees, or Demigod Lord of the Bees. I believe we can do this. We're actually doing a relatively okay amount of damage with our bees here. Like a surprising amount of damage, in fact. So when Skeletron is moving around all like he is right now, he does seem to have a good amount of defense. But when he's sort of spinning at us, we seem to do slightly more damage, I would say. All right, 5,000 health. My friends, what do you guys think, eh? Do you guys think we can do this? Be honest. Be honest. Do you think we can do this? I think we can do this. 4,500 health remaining. Just got to make sure we don't get caught in the little spinny attack. Because, uh, well, to be honest with you, that would be very, very unfortunate. Okay, come on now. We've got our mana back just about here, which is great. We have a little dude right here, which might provide us with a regenerative mana star. Of course, he bleeding well doesn't. However, there's also a zombie. And the zombie did drop something. So that's actually pretty good. The beads are keeping up with this guy like nobody's business. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, there we are. Regening our mana quite nicely. 1,200 health remaining. I mean, come on, be honest. You guys didn't think I would have been able to do this today, eh? With the mood that I've had in today's episode, you guys probably thought I wouldn't be able to do this, eh? But I tell you what, you're about to eat some humble pie, ladies and gentlemen, because he's dead. He is down. He is done. <laughs> the only thing we didn't get, of course, was the Book of Skulls. That is unfortunate. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we actually just did that. Quite frankly, I think that deserves a like rating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That has brought my mood back. Most definitely brought my mood back. <sighs> that went so much smoother than I first thought it would. I won't lie to you, my friends. I am definitely a big, big fan of how that went. Thank you, Terraria. Thank you, bees. In fact, to be honest, I'm thanking the bees more than anything else. The sweetheart necklace definitely coming in clutch. The warding hive pack definitely coming in clutch. This demonic bee gun, more than enough. Master Mode Skeletron, more than enough. So, talking of enough, it is time to wrap up today's episode. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, despite my shortcomings and maybe my rant early on, I would, of course, appreciate it if you'd head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now... I think I'm going to go get some well-deserved sleep. 90 minutes sleep is nothing. You need like eight, nine hours. In fact, my sweet spot personally is nine hours. Anything less than that, and I kind of struggle to function. Anything more than that, and I struggle to function. I'm sure you guys can relate to that in some way or another. Going into a recording with just no sleep is just not something you should ever do. Just don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Spare yourself the heartache, my friends. Anyways, thanks for watching. I pushed through it, and we actually came out the other side achieving something that I genuinely didn't think I'd be able to achieve. So, 
you know, you got to pat yourself on the back sometimes, eh, my friends? Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.